Hello. I'm back. Had a long day today. As you can see from the last scratching videos I put out, I got my hair done. Woo! Yes. So even though I'm sweating to death, it was 118 degrees today. It was so hot. I was going to bring out another in-car mukbang. I went to Joe's and my phone was overheating. Um, it wouldn't let me play the camera. It started and then it stopped. And then when I tried to restart my camera, it kept saying um, the phone is um, too hot. I have to wait for it to cool down. So I ended up not doing it because I needed to get home, make my way home. I did one stop and then made my way home. So your girl went and got her hair deed. My scalp is clean. I gotta, I had her add because my scalp is red from that dryer. Um, the dryer that I normally sit under, it was making a lot of noise and I was on my phone on YouTube and I was like, what's all that noise? And it was the dryer I was under, but that's their coolest one. And so she had to sit me up under one of the regular ones that is just very hot on your scalp. So what I did was, once I knew this was dry, my back had to be dry because that's always soaking wet. So I just held my head down like this, but I still got um, heat uh, sunburn, heat burn, dryer burn on my scalp. So, but yeah, as you can see, your girl's locks is looking good. Y'all see them grays. I swear I'll be looking at my hair, be like, what is that in my hair? That's all gray, y'all. I'm probably silver. I'm going to say silver because it don't look gray to me. I'm a redhead, so redheads either have white or silver. But I tell you, my hair going to be all silver by the time I'm like 50. Oh my goodness, how would I look? I don't look like an albino <laughs> with white hair. My word, y'all know I'm high yellow. I just look a little tanner because of where I live at. It's always sunny. But y'all, I head back to the East Coast and I'll be looking paler than ever. Let me tell you. <laughs> All y'all got to do is look at my legs whenever I do leg shots or full body pictures on Instagram. You're like, why her legs a different color? Because I don't wear shorts or anything short. So my legs don't get any sun. And so that's why my legs look a whole different color than the rest of my body that gets sun. Shocking. But the last time I did this, I was so out of the camera. So hopefully I'm in the camera. And hopefully y'all could see me from the back. Let me see. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. You see my hair from the back. So there you go. Um, here's a picture of it close up. So they're coming along good. And what I'm most happy about, y'all remember every month I come back and show y'all this one. It was like, you could kind of see it, but it's so filling in now where it was thick up here. And then when it got to right here, you can see like, I guess the bud or whatever, it was thin and I'm thinking, and she was too, that one. 
I started my locks because I started off with two strand twists. Um, in the top right here, my hair is was very thin. And um, it's been growing in. I'm so happy that I decided to lock when I did because um, it's been doing very well, the front of my hair. That's where I have a lot of my, um, where a lot of my breakage was. Like, as soon as it would grow back in, it would shed right back out. And I was a heavy shedder. Not to mention, you know, my hormones is up, down, and sideways. So, you know, with surgeries, that's how my body responds in my hair. Like, whenever I have a surgery, that um, the medicine that they put you to sleep with, I guess, it takes a toll on my hair. So I want to say when I had my surgery in October, it wasn't bad because I'm locked up. But I guarantee you, had I not been locked up, if you go back and look at any of my old videos from when I was a loose natural, I want to say, was I doing YouTube in 2013? 2014, definitely. If you go back to my videos 2014, I want to say October to January, whenever I wash my hair, a lot to you not, it'll be like two handfuls. You, But because I have a lot of hair and I have a lot of strands, um, unless you comb through my hair and you looked at it once I washed it out, you wouldn't think that I lost any hair because I do have a lot of hair. Um, I do have a lot of hair, a lot of strands, whatever you want to call it, but my hair has thinned out over the years. Even my aunt noticed it because um, we got thick hair, and she was like, your hair has thinned out. I said, yeah, them surgeries, my hormones. Um, hormones, when you're going through premenopause, menopause, your hair be falling out. You lose your mind. You have aches and pains. I mean, it's so many symptoms of menopause that you wouldn't even think that you would have um, when it comes to hormones not being stable. So um, that's pretty much what happened to my hair over the course of between 2013 and 2018 when I decided to lock. Um, I just got tired of doing my hair and I said before I'll be bald headed and <laughs> all be broken off. Let me go ahead and try to do something with this. And my husband didn't want me to cut my hair, so I locked. And uh, it was the best decision. I should have did it a long time ago, but you know, that's that's that. But um, yeah, my hair is doing good. So she is coming along pretty good and starting to fill in as you can see. And I noticed it um, this week the bud right here and how she's starting to fill in if you go back and look at my other videos when I showed you and my hair is still like even budding now in certain places so I'm still in that teenage stage and I'm 15 months just in case um <laughs> I didn't say it I am 15 months locked so I'm still in the teenage stage but I'm happy my hair is um, thriving and just by some of the um, this was the one right here too this was another one so he's still coming along but um, again this is the front of my head so because I did two strand twists and all of my hair up here was thin um, that's why I have bigger parts up at the front um, your locks tell a story so they can tell how you started off if you know your hair took off what products you use if you was having any issues and that's what we think and um because as you twist it down it got thinner and thinner and you know it grows from your root so of course <laughs> you know all of this is new you know um and then you got, you know, what you started with in the beginning. 
right here looking sick so as long as it don't break off i'm fine it's not broken it's not you know breaking or anything like that so yeah but I, this is i think this one is my thickest one i can't see all over my head but and as you can see it's probably my biggest one as far as the parts because especially right up in here when she first uh twisted me i don't know she i didn't um start documenting my journey until i was about five six months and so by then um you couldn't really tell how my twist looked but some of these i think she just did like this you couldn't even twist it and some of them with such sad twist in the front like i said that's where my hair breaks off at and that's where my hair was the thinnest at, is in the front so and as you can tell again it's coming along pretty good so i was happy with um you know how my hair is you know just holding up pretty much you know in the front um before i had to cut it all off so anyway y'all see my locks they're looking good for now hopefully they will stay looking good let me see the little tiny one this is my tiniest one and he looking good you can see how we thicken up right here so there's nothing breaking it's still strong nothing thinned out <laughs> so um i don't know how this lock came to be but because normally down here my hair wasn't it's pretty good when this part is just mostly up here, but I don't know. But yeah, that's my skinniest one. But he doing good. He trying to, he trying to do something. Anyway, that is it. Just wanted to come and show y'all my hair. It got done. Um, oh. And... Cause I'm gonna put out my final scratching video before I get my hair retwisted. I forgot to show y'all because I know some people like to see this. Ah, I don't want this stuff to spill out. Let me just um scroll down so that's all what came out of off of my scalp it basically looks like sand as you can see i have very little shedding but it literally looks like sand so that's it so thank y'all for watching thank y'all for subscribing please leave your comments in the box below Give me that thumbs up when you come in. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your week.